Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this short video I'm going to show you how to assign revision information inside SolidWorks Electrical. Now if SolidWorks Electrical is not going to be kept into the EPDM vault, what we can do is we can also manually assign revision information inside the actual program itself. To assign revision information we can do this at two levels. We can do it at book level, so this is the top level here. The revision will then be applied to um, or can be applied to all of the documents underneath or we can specify an upper revision on a schematic or per document base. So let's go and have a look. Um, as you can see as soon as I created this file over here somewhere in January um, what happened is it will automatically get a revision zero and it will get my initials. Those initials are set up inside um, the options. So if I go to tools over here, I can set up the initials in, my, in the program options. And we can also set up the revision scheme, which is set up in the actual project um, configurations. So I can actually right click here, go to configuration, hit project, and you can actually set up your uh, revision scheme as well. Should it be A, B, C, or 0, 1, 2, or maybe 0, um, A, B? really depends on what your company standard is. Now let's have a look um, how we assign this information. What I will do first is I will right click on the electrical or on my book and I will click on revisions. Now once I select the revisions what I need to do is um, I can type in a description if I want to so this will just be a description based um, on the book level so initial design and once that's done, um, the revision needs to be validated and verified. So multiple users can log in into the same project. So maybe my manager can log in now and validate and verify the actual revision. Um, but what I will do is I will just do that myself. So I will hit validate and verify. And once that's done, um, this message comes up over here. I can do two things now. I can select yes and that will update that revision or replace that revision on all the drawings and all my schematics or I can say no and only the book revision will be changed. For now because it's the initial design um, I'm going to select yes because all the schematics are going to be on the same revision level. So if I select yes and click on OK. Um, I do have the option then to print a book just using a printer or export it to PDF or I can do nothing. I will not do anything. Now for the first revision, SolidWorks will not copy the description um, to the actual schematics. So the reason or the, the uh, thought behind that was that each, the, each drawing or each schematic um, could have different descriptions. So to add a description on a um, schematic level, you right click for instance on the power schematic and I hit revisions here. You can see the revision that has been created And just add that revision like so click on ok and as you can see it's automatically added um, onto the schematic now that's all nice and well but what happens if i now make a change what happens if i would say um i would take this schematic over here copy that and i'm going to paste that somewhere over there now i've created i made a change in the actual um, schematic in the power schematic however I don't want to update the revision of all the books um, or all the schematics underneath my project. So what I have to do, the order here and um, update the revision, is we manually update the actual book revision because the book is going to be revised. We made a change to the book. So I'm going to right click, select um, revisions. I'm going to make a new revision here. I'm going to type in my description, which is going to be... Um, Actually, I can type in the description of what I've changed, so add it 24 volt circuit. However, it can also be an ECN or ECO number. Um, so it's up to you. Pretty much, this will refer back to a document then, and you can actually see um, a bit more detailed what we've actually got, uh, what we've changed with the request as well. So I validate this. I verify this, but now it's going to ask me, 
okay, do you want to update it all for all the schematics or only just for the schematic or only just for the book? Well, at the moment, I'm going to say no, only the book revision will be changed because I didn't make a, such a big change that will affect all the other drawings over here. The last step that we do then is we go to the power, we select revisions and we manually create that revision over here. So revision number one, which corresponds with the revision of the actual electrical book itself. I forgot what number I used. So if we just hit validate and verify and now click on OK, you can see that it automatically comes in here. My drawing is set to revision one. However, this other one here, for instance, my control schematic is still set to revision zero. So that's usually the way you would go about it. So we've only upped the revision now for um, my power schematic. And if I look at the revisions over here in my book, you can see the different revisions as well. So it's always, you always update the revision for the book first and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you update the actual drawing. Thank you for watching, guys.